Hi, welcome to the 55th Hammer Tutorial, part of Tutorial Fest once again. Um, today we're going to be making HDR lighting in your map. So, Valve does a pretty good job of stock HDR. Well, actually, no, I lied. They do a pretty crappy job of stock HDR if you just compiled your map. But if you want the stock HDR, which doesn't look bad in some cases, under rad you just click HDR. So, that's how you would compile with HDR. Now, a couple things when compiling with HDR. It'll go through your map once. It'll go through VBSP. It'll go through VVIS. And then it'll go through VRAD. It'll go through VRAD again with HDR lighting. So if your map is taking like 60 minutes to compile RAD, you might want to not do HDR. Because that might just take too long to compile. Um, if you want to be a pro... You can use the advanced compiler where you have a little more control over your compile settings. They have some stock ones as default, fast, HDR compile, HDR compile full, only entities. Those are pretty much stock ones, but HDR just runs the map the same way as normal with clicking compile, but you can add some more. You can add some extra parameters. Like I have I have this one for my jailbreak map. Run some extra crap. I'll make a tutorial on this later. Um, so you just do that. And if you want to fine tone your maps full your your HDR, you create an entity and you want it to be an ND tone map underscore controller. And just name it Tone Map. And yeah, it can go absolutely anywhere in your map. Uh then create a logic auto. Or use an existing one, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to fine tone our HDR with this. Under outputs, click add on map spawn, tone map. Now we have a couple different settings here that we want to use. Now, there's a tutorial on FPS Banana called HDR for All. It kind of gives you a base of what you want, but I found that doesn't really work. The best way is to just play around with it. So, but some good starting factors, you want to on map spawn, tone map, set bloom scale, 0.8. It's a good scale. Now, bloom scale is only for people with bloom on. Now, remember, if you spend a lot of time on this, just not many people have HDR on. It all comes down, to, it's, it's good for taking screenshots, in my opinion. I like it. And on map spawn, tone map controller, set auto exposure max. I'm a fan of six. Seems a lot. I lied. Five. Uh, copy paste, set exposure minimum. And then point eight. So basically, if you've ever played Halo, I think it's 3, they added bloom to it. And whenever you go into a dark area out into the bright, you'd be blinded by bloom, which is not cool. So you want to keep your bloom scale a little bit lower, so around 0.8. You usually want it to be at your set auto exposure min, or at your set auto, or just a little bit above it. A little bit above it. So 1 would be good, 1.2, but like 8 is a good starting factor. I'll also show you some ways that you can fine tune this once in game. Now I'm going to compile this, with my special compile, and then I'll see you in Counter-Strike. Okay, now we're in Counter-Strike. And if you've seen this map before in other tutorials, it definitely was never this bright. This is what the HDR has done to it. Now this isn't bad, this is actually good. Now I can mess with it. Now if you bring up your console and you type ENT Fire Tone Map Set auto exposure max now what we're doing here is we're firing an entity command from the console which is really cool so now you can set the auto exposure to two should set it down some yeah it's a bit better it's a bit better to one it got a bit darker so this is all so plain with it. like if i set it to 50 see it, it's slowly getting brighter there it goes yeah all right so now I found out that 5 is way too much. 2 seems pretty good. I mean, even though this map's supposed to be a night map, it's kind of 
not turning out to be that way with the HDR. So you could also set your max exposure to a really low number, and that would make the map, in fact, darker. And you can set the auto exposure to min 2.2. There we go. Now this is this is starting to look like a very dark map. So you can see the HDR is actually making a bigger difference than just having uh, a, d a dark lighting entity because we're able to control the exposure of how bright everything is. Everything still seems to be the same, but the HDR makes a huge difference. It's it's really nice. So ENT fire, change tone map, and after you find a scale that you like with the console, just go in and change it in your Logic Auto, and you'll have perfect HDR. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.